hey guys good afternoon um i am just now pretty much starting up my day this is how it goes sometimes when i'm really tired and yesterday i was exhausted i was vlogging all day and even though i was home i don't normally do that so i was vlogging all day i had to edit one of my videos to have it up by yesterday in the morning around 12 so i was up since like 7 a.m and then on top of that i had to edit yesterday's vlog and upload it um to be up by like 9 30 30 something um so it went up a little bit later than anticipated because it took me a little bit longer to edit than i anticipated but it went up yesterday so i edited two videos last night and uploaded twice in one day so hopefully you guys are loving it because i normally don't ever um upload that much <laughs> i feel like people get tired if you do that but we're in vlogmas and i had to upload that other video and i have a holiday makeup tutorial coming up soon too um to throw it in there and a mukbang and all of that stuff we have some fun stuff ahead of us hey guys so right now i'm just finishing up doing my makeup i think me and jason are gonna go out i'm literally doing the simplest makeup ever um I don't even know where we're going to be honest. I'm adding some new lashes. These are, and I'm trying these lashes out for the first time. Um, but I thought I would come on here to finish up today's vlog, announce the winner, and also um, show you guys the next giveaway because hopefully I can get this video up on time today wanted to tell you guys a story um it's a pretty pretty crazy story that i don't even think jason knows um i'm not sure if he does i'm not sure if i've told him this story but i really haven't told the story to anybody um only me and my sister know about the story because we were in the incident so i don't know if you guys know or if you're new to my channel, then you don't know that I am Dominican. And I pretty much moved to Dominican Republic when I was about nine. I don't think a lot of you guys know this. Pretty much, um, my parents moved. Like, they retired to Dominican Republic when I was about nine years old. And my little sister was about, like, four. Um, so, our parents moved out there when we were, like, pretty young. And we pretty much grew up there and lived our entire life there until we were like well until i was like 17 18 was when i came back here um to finish high school and stuff like that and start college which sorry didn't finish but either way aside from that um me and my little sister there was a certain point where we were going to the same school and um over there there's no such thing as like i mean there is public schools but like nobody ever puts their kids in public school um they're mostly like in private school i mean i don't know if that was that was just like for me or like the people that were around me and my friends but i just feel like not a lot of people went to public school thought that it would be a better option since we were coming all the way from over here and public schools here are pretty great to be completely honest they're literally like a private school over there so they wanted to put us in private schools so that way we could keep continue to get the same education and um not that i'm saying that public schools in dr are bad but they just don't have the same resources that private schools do out there um you know what i mean it's not the same as over here whatsoever what it happens over there is that sometimes they have high schools and middle school together like it's not like over here like you go to middle school and then you go to high school um over there they have everything together like you're literally with the people that you started in middle school with until you graduate high school so these people kind of like become your family and like you see them every day you go to the same classroom every day like it's not like here as well where you switch classrooms when you pretty much like um um you finish a class you go to another class finish class go to another class one is in the in the second floor the other was in the first you know what i mean it, it was it's never like that out there out there is literally you have a homeroom and in that homeroom it's where you stay to take all of your classes and your teachers come to you um and all you have to do is pretty much bring your books with you that are assigned to each and every subject pretty much so like science um 
so like science math english and we would also have french because over there the main languages are spanish and french and we will also have english but not really kind of giving you guys like a backstory it has nothing to do with kind of like the story but giving you guys like a backstory so you guys can get like an idea of why we were in the same school at the same time um so pretty much um that's how it happened and my mom would always literally always pick us up so late from school like it's not like over here like you could put a kid in a bus and like you we had been in buses before and stuff like that like that they would take us home and bring us back home or pick us up in the morning and take us to school but when we switched to this certain school because we moved our mom always used to bring us to school in the morning drop us off and also pick us up which was not the best idea for my mom because my mom is not the most punctual person if i do say so myself so she was always late literally and we will it, like when it came to this point like it was like at this point we were picking picked up so late from school that it was just like not okay first of all okay and like i'm not blaming my mom for the situation because it's things that happen and you can't avoid them like you don't know that that's gonna happen you know what i mean but if she would have picked us up earlier it would have been another story but either way <laughs> i'm not blaming her just saying that she was always super late like it was like that time where she was always like late and stuck at work where she couldn't get out of it and sometimes you know my mom's memory is not the best and i feel like i get that from her where she forgets things and sometimes she would even forget that she had to pick us up from school at a certain time or she would just lose track of time my mom worked with um pretty much politics um in the dominican republic at that time and things can get really crazy up in there you know what i mean like you can lose track of time you cannot know what's going on in the outside world you don't have your phone with you and if you do you're pretty much on the phone all the time so that's what i pretty much experienced with my mom being in that type of like you know work scenario workplace um so we both had a phone like me and my little sister both had a phone i also had a phone and i had the latest phone that had came out in dominican republic which was the blackberry mine was white it was cute you know what i mean like it was like my favorite thing in the world because before that i was not allowed to have a phone like i did have phones but they were just not the blackberry and that's the phone that i wanted so she ended up getting it for me and that was like my precious phone and i loved it so much and i felt so fucking cool because all the kids in my school had it and if you didn't have that phone you were not cool okay so i was really hyped because i had that phone so that phone was like precious to me like now i really don't care about phones but in that time that phone was literally everything to me okay i almost got robbed for that phone and this is where the story starts so me and my sister are waiting for our mom as normal and we were always the last kids to be picked up because like I said my mom had a very he hectic schedule and a very hectic life so um we were always the last one to be picked up from school we were already used to this teachers already knew this but it came to the point where I don't even know why they would do this to be honest like it came to the point where you would have to sit outside and wait it came to the point where you had to like sit outside and wait for your parent to come and get you because they had to close the doors of the school because the cleaners will come to clean the entire school or whatever the case may be which i don't find any sense in because at the end of the day like it's a private school you're supposed to take care of your children and not have them waiting outside exposed to the world for their parents if their parents didn't come on time like they're still supposed to be inside we got switched from that school just letting you know because of that but um point is we were told to sit outside like literally with the gates closed of the school and everything we were told to wait outside and sit outside and wait for our mom because she was about 30 minutes late and she was not picking up the phone like i have no idea where the this lady was okay and whatever so we were waiting outside and i was just on my phone you know talking to my friends and talking through um blackberry messenger which that was the shit back then that was my shit you know that metal thing and all of that so my ass is over here like this just sitting there and my little sister's next to me she's on her phone just like watching stuff and i'm just there like chilling with my friends right and then the thing um then this guy is coming in a pasola 
And what a pasola is, it's like a little bike. Um, it's not an actual motorcycle, but it's like one of those that is like, it's just one thing and the two little wheels. I'll put a picture of it so you guys can know what I'm talking about. But pretty much he comes in a pasola and he has a construction hat on. It's red, a construction like helmet, and he has construction clothes on. Which means, or which meant in Dominican Republic, or means that he is from the electro, uh, like electricity people, like you know, just people that you just know who they are because of their uniform. And over there, it's not like over here that you could just pay your light through the internet. I don't know if it's like that now, but over there, you literally physically have to go to the actual office and pay your light bill. So you, I would always see these people, the way they were dressed and the uniforms that they had. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, this is just the guy, the light. You know what I mean? Like, he's not going to do anything. He looked sus. But I was like, he's not going to do anything, right? First thing I do is go back to my phone as normal. And this guy literally pulls up right in front of us. And he, and I see that he has something like right here, um, underneath his jacket, like his construction vest. And I'm like looking at him and I'm thinking like, oh, maybe he's going to ask me for a direction. So I'm just ignore him. Right. Um, that's my like initial reaction. And then he just starts slowly starts taking out his gun. Okay. This, <sighs> this guy had a gun. Okay. Let me like put this a little bit further away. This guy literally had a gun, you guys. Like, he had a gun. This man had a gun. A freaking gun. So he literally takes the gun and takes it out. And he points it at us like this from his thing. So, like, nobody sees it. Right? Because nobody's f***ing around, first of all. And my first <laughs> initial reaction was scream, throw my phone over the fence, I didn't even care about anybody else that was... I didn't even care about my little sister. I didn't care about my life. Because he wanted to rob my phone. He wanted to steal my phone, okay? So I didn't think about anything else but my freaking phone. <laughs> like, who am I? <laughs> and I literally threw the phone over the fence of the school. And I started yelling, Mom! 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 So he could think that my mom was there. And this guy just literally left. He, like, he put the pep on it. Like, he was out. And I was just like, there's, and then the people at school actually opened the door for us, for us to wait for our mom inside of the freaking school. That's when they decided to do that, when we were about to get freaking killed, okay? So, yeah, that was just like the craziest experience that I've ever lived in my life. And being a child, like I was literally like in my 14, 15 years of age, like, and my little sister was like, so young you know what i mean like instead of protecting her i'm over here grabbing my phone and throwing it over the fence like really bro really <sighs> like who am i i would never do that nowadays but in that time i really loved it. so yeah that's my crazy story about when i almost got killed well when me and my little sister almost got killed um by someone with a gun i don't even know what i'm gonna name this because it's pretty crazy and literally only in the r <laughs> like <laughs> that would never happen here i mean maybe it would who knows but not over a phone at least not anymore um so yeah that's my crazy story i just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because nobody really knows that story about me so now you guys know and whoever is watching this that knows me personally now knows this story um because I never shared the story with anybody. I just feel like it's... I don't know. I don't know why I never shared it with anybody. I just feel like they wouldn't want to hear it. But I know that this is kind of interesting and it's crazy. And you guys might want to hear it and know a little bit more about me. So that's me letting you know a little bit more about me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm actually very grateful that that was the only thing that happened to me. And very blessed that that was the only thing that happened to me. Because girl... Um, for all you know, I couldn't even be making this video right now or something really bad could have happened like he could have shot us or um, You know just the worst could have happened, but it didn't so I'm very grateful and thankful that God protected me and Yeah You have to give your phone in this place that we're going so Stop Can we put your phone out? So this means I can't record for the vlog? Just kidding <laughs> Oh <laughs> That was annoying Anyways, exciting. 
Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, where are we going, boo? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm in the car right now because I ran out of time and Jason came to pick me up. Say hi, babe. What up, what up? Repping his familiar hat. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do right now is pretty much announce the winner. They probably saw the mess back there. Let them know what that is. Toys. What is it? Oh yeah, it's toys. What is it? You got toys for the I kids? Do, I just put them in there and I'm asking what they are. Um, <laughs> they're toys for the kids. So. <clears throat> yeah, it's not like I have a mess in here, you know? <laughs> okay. People can see that. They'll be like, yo. I know. Kid. This kid is a... It's a slob. Even though, yeah. He is a slob. Hey. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, so I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. And I'm going to show you guys pretty much what you're going to win this time. Like I said in my last video, I'll be throwing things in randomly like other things. So you guys can be surprised when you get your box or whatever the case may be. This is not all that you're going to get. But this is like initially what I put together today. And same case with yesterday. Because, you know a bitch be running out of time anyways so today's giveaway winner is Annalisa Mejia and her comment was my favorite Christmas memory was back in Dominican Republic I moved 13 years ago not the same remember my mom cooking papi making the real pierna pierna de puerco my brother was alive and he was the spirit of the house. Sad, but I'd rather keep all those moments and treasures. Thanks for the giveaway and good luck. Happy holidays to you all. Happy holidays to you too. I'm very sorry to hear that, that your brother passed away. Um, so sorry for your loss, but it's a good day because you just won the giveaway, girl. So um, send me your address. Um, if you have me on Instagram, send me your address or we'll figure it out how I can get your address and stuff like that to send over your package. So yeah, um, now I'm just gonna pretty much let you guys know what you're gonna win really fast because my camera is dying, so that's great. So in this little bag, we have a The Bomb a um <clears throat> what we have an eyeshadow by the bomb we have a mom highlighter palette by nyx we have a setting spray by the brand certix or certis i have no idea but um i've seen this brand before we have a liquid lipstick by nyx and we have a whole bunch of other little goodies in here so this is the second giveaway prize I have some more stuff in here. I have a mascara from Maybelline. Hope you guys can see that. I have a tinted face pretty much sunscreen for those of you that don't really like to wear a lot of makeup. I have a Vice lipstick from Urban Decay. What else do I have in here? Is that it? No, there's two more things. I also have another eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. This is one of their holiday collections eyeshadow palettes. So I'm sharing it with you guys because I have three of them. And then we have a lip balm from Pixie. So that's pretty much it. That's what we have here. Once again, I will be adding some other things into the package. So that's that um if you guys do not know the rules pretty much the rules are to be subscribed to my channel turn your bell notifications on like this video and comment down below what is the craziest experience that you've ever had in your entire life because that's what this video is about today so um comment that down below and also for an extra entry you can pretty much tag me on instagram in your stories pretty much showing that you're watching my vlog so that is optional you can do that if you want to but if you want an extra entry then you can do that so um congratulations to today's winner this is the end of the video you guys i am closing it off here we're actually going somewhere now um but i'll record on my phone for tomorrow's vlog because my camera is dying but i'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video peace